Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to be learning how to obtain an access token from the Instagram basic display API. We're going to create ourselves a website and we're going to have a link there that asks the user to authorize with Instagram. The user will click on the authorize with Instagram. The link will take the user to Instagram and it will give us a little bit, a little pop-up. This is the app that we created in our previous video. It says this app uh, is requesting the following permissions. The user will click authorize and they will be redirected back to our website where we will get an access token. This video is a continuation video. So if you haven't watched the first video, which is creating a Facebook app, pause this video and go watch my Instagram basic display API creating a Facebook app video. That covered all the stuff where um, you saw a little pop-up on Instagram asking for permission and stuff. All that stuff was covered in the last video. Go check it out, then come back here. Now we can code. First thing we're going to do is create ourselves a new folder for our Instagram display, basic display API app. In the folder, we're going to have three total files. The first file is going to be our defines, which is going to hold our app secret, our app ID, and all that stuff. And the second one is going to be our Instagram basic display API, and we're going to create a class for this. And then our index file, which will be our website, where the user lands. And then we're going to open all of those files in Sublime text. So the first file we're going to do is our defines file. This file will hold our Instagram app ID, our app secret, and our redirect URI. Now let's quickly go back to the app we created from the last video, developers.facebook.com, my apps, and here's the Instagram basic display app. So what we're looking for here is the Instagram under products, and you want to click the basic display. We scroll down a little bit, and here's our app ID. You click show on your app secret to get the app secret and then the redirect URI, which I put in right here. So I'll get my app ID right here and put that right here. I will then get my app secret off screen and I will put it right here. Save that, close the defines file. Now that we have everything defined, we can start coding up our Instagram basic display API class. The first thing we want to do is require our defines file so we have access to the defines that we just set up. Then we can create our class. Our class is going to help us make calls to uh, the endpoints for the API. So we'll create some um, class variables here. And now our class has access to those values that we uh, set in the defines file. The first function we want to implement is our constructor function. This is the function that will get called whenever we instantiate our Instagram basic display API class. We're going to want to pass some parameters in as well. on Facebook right here. So they click authorize and Instagram redirects the user back to our website. What they also do is they add on a code. And get ourselves an access token. And we want to pass this code that we get from Instagram. We'll pass the code in. We can call it get code and we're going 
when we instantiate it, we set our git code to the git code passed in. Then we want to try and get an access token. And if we don't have an access token, if there's no access token in the URL, we're going to want to generate the authorization URL. This is the URL the user will see if there is no uh, code in the URL. Then the user will click authorize with Instagram. It'll go to Instagram. Instagram will send the user back here. The class will get instantiated with the code and we will get an access token for that user. The first step in the user's process is to click that authorization URL. So we are going to start out by creating that function that will get us the authorization URL so we can send the user to Instagram to authenticate with our app. We're also going to add another class variable for the authorization URL. The authorization URL is uh, api.instagram.com. So we'll make a new class variable for our base uh, API base URL, api.instagram.com. Along with that URL, we need to send some variables. The first thing we need is our app ID. The second thing we need is our redirect URL. It requires a scope. And that scope is, what's the scope? This is telling us what we want to grab from the user. So it'll say, <clears throat> that little pop-up will say, hey, this app is trying to access your profile and your media. Last thing we need is our response type, which is another thing required. And we just set that to code. And then we can create our URL. So we'll say this. We want our authorization URL here. We're going to set that right here, and we're going to begin with our base URL right here, the API base URL. That's where we start. After the base URL, we need to do OAuth slash authorize question mark, and we are going to then build our query string from our git bars. This function has then successfully set our authorization URL. Now what we need to do is hop over to the front end, uh, our index.php file, because we have something we can start coding for the front end, which is that authorization URL. And we're going to require our Instagram basic display API class. And we will uh, put a link. right here to authorize the user. In order to get the link, we're going to instantiate our uh, Instagram class. So here's the parameters that I was talking about. We're going to check for a code in the URL. If we have one, we're going to pass it along. If we don't, it will just be empty. We're going to instantiate our Instagram class with that git code, which will fall into the constructor function. We will set the git code and then we will set the authorization URL right here. And all we have to do on the front end then is echo that out right here. So we're echoing out our authorization URL. Now the user comes to the page without a code. They see authorize with Instagram. They click on it and it goes to the URL we have created here. So on our index page, let's just give it a title. And let's check this out in the browser and see uh, how we're looking. So we're going to go to ba Instagram Basic Display API. We see our title and we see our authorized with Instagram link. If we click on this, it is not taking us to Instagram which is not right. Um, oh, I forgot to echo it out. That's why the href was blank. Let's refresh, hover over the link, and we see now it's going to Instagram. We're going to click on it. It's taking us to Instagram.
it's all looking good. We see our app here. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click Authorize, and Instagram should send me back to my page with um, a code in the URL. Back in our Instagram class, we can start on this section right here. We'll do Set uh, Instagram Access Token. And we are passing in the params here because we need that get code, which came from our constructor function. We're going to need to use this get code in order to get an access token. And what we're looking for in here is that get code. So we're going to check for a get code. And if we have a get code, we're going to try and get an access token. Because if the user comes to our page without a get code, we don't do anything. And the access token will just be left as blank. We want to add another private uh, user access token. This will save the user access token in our class. If we have the get code, we want to get an access token. This function right here will be a private function and it will, it will return our access token. We will send along some more params that Instagram requires when we uh, request an access token with a code. The most important thing is the correct endpoint, which is again our API base URL. OAuth slash access token. The type of endpoint this is, is a post. Now that we have the endpoint and the type, we just need to pass along some more params. For this specific endpoint, we need our app ID, app secret. We need a grant type. And the grant type for this is authorization code. We need to specify a redirect URI. And last but not least, the most important part is the code. So this is all the things that we need to request an access token from Instagram. last bit right here is our API call. So we're passing all these parameters into an API call, which is going to be a kind of generic curl call that we're going to send off so we can easily specify endpoints, types, and params for future requests. First, we're going to initialize our curl call. Next, we will set our endpoint. Then we need to check what type of call this is. Our call right here is a post. If we have a post request, we have to do some different curl settings versus if we have a git request. So if it's a post request, we're going to build our query based off of the URL params that were passed in. Now we just have some uh, general curl things to set. So that is the curl options we need to set for our make API call, except we don't need to specify them twice. Looks like I accidentally put this in there twice. So we'll delete that. Now we can get our response from our curl call. This is what's coming back from Instagram. Then we can close our curl call and we can get a nice um, PHP array from the response. Only thing left to do is return our response. But before we return it, we want to check quick for some error. So if we have an error, we're just going to dump that out on the page and stop executing the script. If there is no error, we're going to return the response.
now all we have to do is head over to the browser and we get our authorized link. We're going to click on that. It redirected us back, but we are still seeing our authorized Instagram link. We done messed up somewhere because we should be seeing a display uh, access token, right? Because we should be in this uh, if has user access token. Are we not setting the get code correctly? Get code is right. Oh, passing in this doesn't exist. Param does not exist. It needs to be params. I'm hoping that fixes it. Welcome to web development. All right, so let's remove this code like we're hitting this site for the first time. Refresh it. Click on our link. Refresh. We got a fatal error. Cannot access empty property. Instagram line 52. Oh, fatal error. That is not good. Line 52. Endpoint URL. Oh. Uh, we don't put variables, uh, dollar signs in front of the variable name when you're doing the referencing it with this. So let's try this again. Remove the code, like we're hitting it for the first time without authorization. Click the authorize link. And we got some curl call errors on line 73. Oh, curl opt. It's always got to be curl opt. Curl set opt. 7386. Huh. 86. Oh, well, we got to pass in the correct parameter first. Let's do one more time. Refresh our page. Now we're going to authorize. We got a little bit farther. Except we have an undefined method. Undefined method? What? Line 27. What's undefined on line 27? Oh, duh, it's a variable, not a function. Delete the code for the last time, hopefully. Perfect, we've done it. Oh, that feels good. We got our access token. We have obtained an access token with the code up here in the URL from the Instagram basic display API. All right, so to recap, what we have done is once the user has clicked authorize on our, our Instagram app that we set up in the video before this, the user is redirected back to our website and Instagram adds on a code as seen right here. With that code, we hit the Instagram API endpoint, api.instagram.com. Um, slash oauth slash access token. We pass along that code and Instagram gives us back an access token. With this access token, we can now query different endpoints on Instagram to get users uh, media, info on their media, the user's username, how many posts they've made, and so on. The only thing about this access token that we have just gotten is that it is um, a one-time use. So in the next video, we are going to be exchanging this access token for a long-lived access token. And a long-lived access token is good for, I believe it's 60 days. Um, and with that, we are going to conclude this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see coded next. I'll catch you guys later.